So I got this mouse about three weeks ago off of Amazon. It's called Jellycomb. Never heard of the company before. Didn't even know they existed. They're advertising this vertical profile mouse. Uh, my last mouse just died. It was a Logitech, uh, one of those mini mouses. Very affordable. I think this was about $20, $25 and it's lasted about probably three or four years now. So this thing was great. It does take uh, a battery, but uh, nonetheless, it's not working anymore. So it's time for a new one. And this is the one I settled on. This one was $39 Canadian on Amazon. What attracted me to it was it has three types of connections, okay? It's got a USB type C connection, type A connection, and Bluetooth. So you can use any one you want, all right? Um, I'm currently using the USB type A with my computer. I'm not in love with the mouse, okay? I'm sending it back actually, and I wanted to share my experience with this mouse just in case you guys are looking at a mouse like this or anything similar to it. I'm gonna tell you my experience with it, okay? So let's start with the vertical profile. It's a good idea, it works. However, it's too small of a mouse for it to be effective in, in terms of ergonomics for me. These vertical mice, they're supposed to turn your wrist more, more vertical like this. So uh, it's supposed to be easier on your joints, easier on your wrist. And depending on how I hold it, I do notice it can be more comfortable, but the problem is it's too small of a mouse. Like this is a mini mouse here and it's almost the same size. It's just a little tilted, right? I don't have enough support in my palm to utilize the vertical portion of this. I feel where my fingers lie uh, on, on the mouse buttons here, I need some supporting right here to be able to feel that, that benefit. When I move it into my palm, then I can feel it's really comfortable, but the problem is my fingers hang off the end of the mouse and then I, I can't push the buttons or scroll the wheel, it's very uncomfortable. So I shouldn't have got a small one, I should have got a bigger one. I don't even know if they make bigger ones. Uh, this company, I know other companies make bigger vertical mice. But yeah, that's the problem, okay? I'm, I'm six foot, I have normal size hands. Um, so if you're my size, then this mouse isn't gonna work for you if you're getting it for the ergonomics, okay? Um, what I do like though is the soft click, okay? I don't know if you can hear it. You probably can't hear it because it's such a soft click, it's almost like a little thud or a thump, okay, as opposed to this Logitech mouse here. You can, you can hear that. So this one's way louder, okay? Um, it did take some adjusting to get used to that, not having that clicking noise, but after a while I actually prefer it. I like how quiet it is. Um, yeah, I, I like the thud and it's more respectful if, if you're working at home like a lot of us are right now and you know my fiance and I were sharing a workspace. She, she sits here, I sit right over there like 10 feet away. So not having to hear the click from, from uh, me, you know, that's it's considerate. Anyway, uh, the scroll wheel is fine. It does have a little button at the top here that you can click and all that does is change the tracking speed. So when you're moving your mouse around and the pointer is on the screen, if it's too fast, push the button, you can slow it down or speed it up. Uh, there are two more buttons on the side here, okay, for, for the thumb buttons. And all they do on my Mac, 2011 Mac, is uh, they go page forward or page back in a web browser. Um, not a big fan, I haven't been able to get used to that, I haven't really been using those features. Um, doesn't work for my computing style. The reason why I'm getting rid of this mouse, not the only reason, I'm getting rid of it because it's not comfortable, it doesn't support my wrist, it's not providing me with the advertised functions of being a vertical ergonomic mouse. So that's the main reason I'm getting rid of it. But another big reason I'm getting rid of it is the charging port. This doesn't take batteries, you plug it in uh, when it dies and you can charge it. And it's a micro USB cable I'm disappointed about that, I overlooked that. Not only is it a micro USB cable, but it's a proprietary micro USB cable. It comes with this cable here, it's a thousand feet long, and it's got a notch on it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a notch at the end of this cable specifically to fit into this ridiculous cutout hole into the end of the mouse. I tried my other USB cables, shorter ones and they don't fit because of this stupid notch all right that is so ridiculous why did they do that i have no idea but that's a huge but that means i have to keep this cable around this ridiculous long outdated micro usb cable around in order to keep this mouse charged up 
I'm not having that. That was my bad. I should have looked more carefully on the website when I bought this mouse, but I didn't. And that's a, another big reason why I'm sending it back. Okay. So if you're in the market for a mouse, look at how they, how it charges, whether it's a battery, if it's a cable, look at the cable, try to get USB type C in a mouse. Don't go with micro USB. Those are being phased out. Um, yeah, anyway, something to consider when you're buying a mouse, okay? But that's about it, guys. I don't recommend this mouse, honestly, okay? It's not that comfortable. I have a normal size hand, and because of that proprietary charging cable, I'm not gonna recommend this mouse anyway. I'm sending this back. That being said, I will need to start looking for a new mouse. I am gonna do more research this time and get something hopefully affordable, but you know, better quality and something micro USB-C. So stay tuned guys, if you wanna see what I end up with next, make sure you guys are subscribed down below. Click that subscribe button and click the bell so you can get notified when, when I make my next video on whatever mouse I end up with in the future. If you guys have any recommendations on a mouse, leave them in the comments below. If I like the mouse, I'll, I'll pick it up and I'll do a review on it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.